Hi, this is Donovan again. We're now going to build our first trusses. My wife and I didn't fight in the first run, so hopefully we won't do it again this time. The tools and the equipment you will need, a Stanley knife, a texter, the plans, some chisels, a Phillips head bit and a tech head bit, as well as an impact driver and the appropriate PPE. You will need some trestle tables or some saw horses or even some 44 gallon drums just to keep them off the ground to help with the build. You'll have your tables laid out. It's easier to build your trusses one on top of the other. Um, you'll grab your second bundle and then you'll start, you'll cut it and then you'll open up the pieces, laying them out from bottom and top to start with. This particular truss is our back-to-back -back truss. You'll build it from the flat side up with B3 and B4 to start with. Again, with B3, make sure the label is on the left-hand end. Now, when joining your bottom cords together, you'll use B4 and they will box together only one way. Other side as well. We'll now screw B5 into B4 on both sides. We'll now take T1 and T2, which will now form the apex of our truss. As you line up the two top cords, line up the bottom hole. Once you have fixed off the top of the apex, you will then fix off the top cords to the bottom cords. You'll line up the two holes, the top of the bottom cord and the bottom of the top cord. We've now repeated the same process on the opposite end. We'll now take R12, which is our rail, which will form the top of the apex of our truss. Again, we line up the bottom hole of our top cord and the top hole of the rail. We now grab our webs, W8 and W9, which form the centre of our truss. We then move from left to then right. Now fixing off your webs, you will then fix off from the middle hole of each web into the middle hole on the top cord. Once you've fixed off your webs, make sure that the holes line up from the web to the rail. We now fix off the webs coming to this side of the truss on the left side first. Make sure that the web hole, the middle holes, line up. We're now placing the last web on the left hand side. Make sure that you hold on to it when it's being screwed off. We're now going to do exactly the same on the other side with the remaining webs. We'll now change our Phillips bit with our tech head bit and we'll fix off two tech screws to each web. <laughs> 